Hey folks, how's everybody doing? This is Eric Gallahan here. Um, I'm back with another beer review. Today, we have another one from Third Wheel Brewing. I've got a bunch of these beers sitting in my fridge. I got a couple more left that I'm going to review too. This one is called <clears throat> Ophelia. And it's a Belgian wit beer with spices. And it's 5.2% alcohol by volume. 16 fluid ounce can. And what's special about this one, if anyone's ever tried it before, it's got a rosemary flavor in it. So it's brewed with rosemary. So it's got a unique spice. Uh, I've got, I've uh, had this one before. Um, and I think it's, pretty good for what it is it's definitely unique so let's give it a try here good opening on that this one is definitely not overfilled the problem with the, some of these microbreweries like this one occasionally they'll overfill their can um, and when you open it it sprays a little bit this one was perfect so that gets it a couple points right there we're going to give this a pour here. A little foamy on the head. So unfortunately now we're losing a couple points. But let's keep going here. See if maybe we can pour the rest of this in slowly with that overflow in the glass. I can smell the rosemary from here. Slowly but surely getting there. Sorry guys, I don't really have any editing uh, power here. So whoever watches this is just going to have to watch this clean. Um, raw and unedited. Okay, let's try it. A little more here. All right, I think one more pour should do it. So let's give this a uh, one more, one more, a uh, little bit of time here. But we can talk about the color and the appearance. It is a wit beer, so it's going to be straw colored. Um, it's definitely straw colored. It's definitely hazy. You can see the haze. My hand is behind the glass holding it. You can't see my hand. All you can see is the shadow of my hand, but you can't see any details of it. So you definitely have a pretty good haze on that. All right. All righty, sweet. It did not overflow. We did it. Okay, and then one more look at the can before I set it down. It's got a woman riding on a bike in the prairie land with a windmill in the background. I do not know the significance of that. I'm sure there's something to it, but um, you'll realize as I go through that these cans um, from this brewery are very uniquely designed. They all have different in uh, interesting pictures on them. So I'll set that aside here. All right, four minutes in, I'm finally getting to the smell of it. Let's see here. I definitely smell grains. I think it's got grains of paradise in it. Um, it, it does not. I thought it did, but it looks like it's got two real malt. Uh, Pilsner malt, unmalted wheat, which is the wheat beer. That's obviously what the haze is. And white wheat. Never heard of white wheat, so I don't know anything about that. And it's got Mount Hood hops. So. I definitely can smell the grain. 
I mean, it smells weedy. It smells like a wheat beer. It's got that grainy, weedy, straw type smell to it. And again, like I mentioned when I was pouring it, you can definitely taste, or taste, excuse me, you can definitely smell the rosemary in it. I mean, it doesn't say rosemary uh, on the can, so I could be wrong about that. It could just be part of the hop profile that's giving it that smell. But when I was at the brewery a few weeks ago and they were had this on tap, it said Ophelia Wit with Rosemary. So maybe they just forgot to put it on the can. I don't know. But let's give this a taste test now. That's definitely light. It's very smooth. It's very smooth on the front. Uh, but when you swallow and get to the back of the palate, you definitely taste the rosemary and the bitterness. It finishes with that. But it's very, very, uh, very, very smooth in the front. For 5.2% alcohol by volume, which is not too high... When you compare it to other beers, your typical Bud Light and Budweiser's, uh, Bud Light is 4.2%, Budweiser's 5 so it's not really much above that. Yeah, there it is again. You have the smooth, grainy uh, texture up front kind of a sweetness in a way and then on the finish you definitely get the bitterness of the hops or the rosemary either way whatever's in it um and then i forgot to mention about the bubbles um it's kind of hard to see on the camera since it's hazy um, but there are a decent amount of bubbles coming up through i'd say it's a moderate effervescence it's not too, too crazy. I'm going to put it up against the camera here. Maybe you can hear it. If you couldn't, I apologize, but that's as close as I can get to the camera. So, um, decent amount of bubbles, nice grainy, uh, be nice grainy taste in the beginning and a, uh, and a, uh, bitter definitely rosemary flavored if they put just hops in there to try to get the rosemary flavor they did a very good job so gonna wrap this up here i'm gonna i'm gonna give this definitely a four a four out of five and for those who are new to my beer reviews again i just started doing this so give the details of it again uh i'm gonna do uh anything from zero to five um and i'll do half ratings too so like 0.5 1.5 and so on so this one gets a four out of five which is very above average i really like the uh the difference in flavor as you swallow this beer this is a pretty good uh pretty good brew all righty so you can it goes down pretty easy as well i've already gotten through about a third of it so that's going to be it for this one a little longer than the last one but more details went into this beer so more details are going to come out in the description all righty thanks for tuning in everybody take care